Hey there, it's Ben Housel here, and here in this tutorial, we're gonna be having a look at how we split clips on the timeline. So we're gonna be having a look at how we use the blade tool in a few different ways. Um, also how we can split clips for export as well. So perhaps you're creating a part one and part two of your edit. We're gonna have a look at how we split the clip um, at export. And then also a couple of other tips for bringing clips down to the timeline um, and how you can split the clips on your timeline um, when you're making your edits. So if you're into tips and tricks for working with Final Cut Pro and learning to edit better with Final Cut Pro, then hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications button, um, and you'll get a little message every time I post a new video. And I'm often answering users and subscribers questions on the channel as well. So if you have questions as you're learning Final Cut Pro 10, then leave them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, let's dive into it and look at how we split clips on the Final Cut Pro 10 timeline. So let's get started and look at these five ways in which we can split clips on the timeline. So the first way is using the blade tool. I'll run through all the shortcuts for this as well. But if you come to your tools here, and um, we can select the blade tool, and that allows us to simply click um, somewhere here on the timeline and blade that clip either on the main timeline or on a connected clip. And if we are working on the main timeline and we jump back to the selection tool, shortcut for that is A, then we can now drop a clip in between those two split clips. We can also, when we're scrubbing through our clips, um, if we use the shortcut command and B, we can split uh, those clips as well. You can see that clip has split where my playhead was. So wherever the playhead is, um, the clips will split, or um, when you're scrubbing, that red line will override where the playhead is to split the clip. So let's just delete a couple of these new clips that we've got here. We can stretch them out a little bit as well. And the second shortcut for splitting the clip is Shift, Command and B. So Command and B will split one clip and then Shift, Command and B will split everything on your timeline. So if you're trying to split um, clips here and break them apart, then this will be useful. So now as we have the selection tool already selected, um, we can grab a clip and now when we place a clip in between those, it split the connected clips as well as uh, the main storyline as well. So let's just go back a couple of steps. We can also use Command and B and Shift Command and B as we're playing back. So if we play this back, when we use Command and B, it's going to split the clip. And if we have a layered clip like this, then as we play back here, doing a shift command and B, it's gonna split the clip there as well. So you can see here, I've made several cuts um, in that clip um, and the same here as well. And if we stretch out the clips on the main storyline, you can see now we've got a number of different clips on the timeline. So let's delete some of these. So the third method of splitting a clip is if we insert a clip onto the timeline um, where the playhead is, then that will split the clip at that particular point in time. So you can see I've got a clip here on the timeline. If I come up to my videos up here, we'll select a, a video clip here. So I'm gonna mark an in point with I and an out point with O. And now that we have that clip selected, um, our playhead is here. If we come and use the insert option. So that's the third way of splitting the clip. So the first way is with the blade tool. The second way is using the shortcuts for your blade tool or shift command and B for splitting multiple um, clips. And then the third way is actually inserting a clip onto the timeline. Now one tool that's really useful when we're splitting clips on the timeline is the position tool. Now there's a couple of different ways um, we can use the position tool to actually split a clip. So I'm just going to stretch out this uh, clip of the feet here. If we grab the selection tool and we're moving clips around, basically it's gonna to shuffle to the points where we already have an edit um, created there. Now, if we grab the position tool and we grab a clip, when we bring that clip over the top of our new clip, we're actually splitting that as well. So I've positioned that clip and overwritten a little bit of that clip in the middle and it's actually split the clip as well, and also left me with a slug um, in this position too. So we can delete that. So that's the fourth way of splitting the clip, but the position tool is also useful as well. Um, if we have an audio track, I'm just gonna drag an audio track down here. And if we're timing things with a beat um, or making edits on our timeline, sometimes 
you'll want to leave a gap uh, on the timeline and we can use the position tool um, to do that as well so if we have a clip playing through here maybe we want to cut this here and pop a clip um, in this location so we can use command and b to split that clip i was hovering over it but we want to make a gap for a few beats because we're not quite sure what we want to put there so if we grab the position tool now and i'm just going to stretch this out a little bit you'll see we'll get a slug in there and now we can expand that slug and that will also help us to split the clips apart um, on the timeline making space for another clip that we might want to bring in um, sometimes if you're timing video with a voice track or something like that then you may be working on a connected storyline as well um, and this works well for that so if we grab a few clips here one two three I'm going to hold down the Alt key and duplicate these up uh, to the main and duplicate these up to a connected storyline. So once we've duplicated these clips up here, um, if we group them together, so we can go to Clip and Create Storyline or Command and G, which is grouping them together. And now if we use the Position tool up here, so I'm grabbing the Position tool, shortcut for that is P. And now if we open these up, we can use the position tool to create a slug between these clips and then stretch out that slug and I found this useful for some edits when we're trying to get the timing of clips um, right on the connected storyline but we also want to be able to move clips around together um, as we're figuring out the timing of our edit. So there's a few different methods there for splitting clips on the timeline and the last one we'll do the fifth tip that we'll run through i'm just going to grab the blade tool again and delete the rest of this audio here is if we have a, an edit and we want to split the edit at export and the way that we do that um, is we will mark an out point somewhere in our timeline and then mark an in point somewhere else in our timeline it doesn't have to be at the beginning and in the middle it can be at any point in our timeline and now um, this is going to split the clip when we export by actually exporting only the area that we've got selected so if we come up to the share option here and go to master file you'll see that we have 25 seconds and 15 frames which is the duration of our selection which we've selected on the timeline. So if you're looking to export out a part one and part two of a video, um, then you may want to use the M key to add a marker somewhere in the middle so that when you deselect it, we know we can see that marker, we can find it and then mark an in point, come to the end and add an out point to export the first and second half or different sections of our video. So hopefully those five tips for splitting clips on the Final Cut Pro 10 timeline are useful. And if you ever have any questions about Final Cut Pro, then please leave them in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.